Hey guys, what's going on friends and family? Yes, yes, immediately you clicked on it and you're like, oh no, it's one of these, yes, it's one of these. I am going to be enthusiastically reading the information that is provided to us on the website. Absolutely, we gotta do a lazy video. Regardless, it's gonna get views because it's bless, duh, uh, and that's fine. I, I'm totally fine with following the views on this one, guys. Uh, definitely someone who's looking forward to bless online. But if you are looking forward to it, you probably wanna know how much it costs. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but it is gonna be bond to play. It is gonna be bond to play, it's gonna be early access. In the future, will it go free to play? Probably, in my opinion, I do think it will, but not for a long time. Maybe, it might not ever. I mean, we saw that with Black Desert Online, we saw it with a few MMO uh, that were gonna be free to play, then stop being free to play. And um, really, the best way for these companies to make their money, because they know they're targeting niche audiences, is to go buy to play with optional, quotation marks, sub fees, and really hardcore cash shops. It's generally the way to go uh, to really capitalize on that hardcore, small audience that they will achieve. But I do think Bless will actually get a, a bigger population uh, than a lot of people are really ready for or expecting, because um, they're really doing a big push with promotions. They're doing a big push on publishing this game and especially targeting the West. So that's why I'm going to do this video. I'm going to do lots of content on Bless. So get excited for that. I'm going to probably follow the trend with a lot of other MMO content creators. We're probably going to play together. If that's cool with you guys, if you want to join us too, join my Discord links in the description and we'll play Bless online together and it's going to be a blast. Or, you know, that's the dream. But what do we got in store for Bless? I don't know. We're going to look through the the, the web page. Okay, I, I do kind of know a little bit, but I haven't actually played Bless. I don't play games unless they're on my native servers, like North American or European when I was on East Coast, but now not anymore. So I did not play the uh, Eastern version of the game, and apparently it's going to be retooled and remade, you know, kind of like how Final Fantasy XIV used to be. Yeah, no, we're, it's going to be remade and is now a whole new beast, hopefully. So yeah, the website's looking sexy. So let me show you around, okay? Now, if you haven't seen the trailer, you should watch the trailer. Uh, you know, we can click that right now. Let's go watch the trailer right now immediately, and I'll just kind of talk over it, if that's fine with you guys. So here we are, Bless Online immediately. I think the trailers are, have all been great. I really have, I think it's been good. So behold a war, okay, I didn't even get to read it, but that's fine, that's okay, we're moving through. Our style, tell me this doesn't give you vibes of like Final Fantasy XIV, but at the same time, it does kind of have like a cheesiness to it, and it does have a very standard and usual feel to the trailers, to the world, to everything, and to an extent, I can almost explain that away. I can almost excuse that and say that it's a good thing. Maybe a little bit. I did see a little bit of a uh, poppin', a little bit of poppin', but still nothing as uproarious as Black Desert Online. I think the graphics, we can all agree, is pretty nice. It looks like it's it's worthy of a buy-to-play game. It looks pretty nice, but then again, there's some free-to-play games that look this good, that play this good, or even, you know, they're, they're more mechanically intensive, they're more action-packed, and they are free, you know? So, it just does look good, though. Again, I mean, as we're watching the trailer, I don't think this is really showing off what the gameplay is really gonna be like. I mean, it's just kind of setting a stage, and it's really not that important. It, it truly isn't. Um, you know, this is probably just some in-game cinematic or something. I'm not I'm not really getting a sense of the true gameplay. And now it's, show, it's showing airships and stuff like that. I mean, Terra had airships technically, but not really. You didn't actually use the airships like you will in the new uh, free-to-play game, Ascent Infinite Realms. You know, th there's a lot of stuff that it's showing in the trailer, but we don't know what we're really going to play. So that's why I'm not really too enthralled to really show and talk about the uh, trailer there. But anyways, uh, what do you guys think about the model design? What do you guys think about the, uh, you know, the fantasy medieval setting? I uh, yes, it has been done a million times. But do you do you guys agree with me that you think it looks like Final Fantasy XIV to an extent? I, I especially as we go through the trailer, uh, not the trailer, but the website, you're gonna really, really get that vibe. So yeah, in my opinion, the trailer could have been done better. I think that it could have been done infinitely better. So this trailer, mm, even without playing the game, I know for a fact the gameplay is probably gonna be different than that and more than that actually uh as my experience as somebody who's made trailers before no that, that is probably a bad trailer uh, no offense to the bless online team but i think the gameplay is pro it probably is going to speak so much more right <laughs> it's probably because that, that basically had no gameplay all right so anyways uh not that i'm going to show gameplay here but i'm going to be talking about the website so what's the difference uh, i'm just gonna, i'm trying to do my best okay so we do have this uh, this class system, very sim very basic class. Well, I can't even say system because I don't know what the class system is like, but we do have classes here. Um, Guardian, Berserker, Ranger, Mage, and Paladin. Uh, the, wait, is there not another one? Oh, wait, are those all the classes? I think that is, yeah, so that's all the classes there. Um, basic, Guardian, Berserker, Ranger, Mage, Paladin. That's it, that's all you get. And you can probably already tell that, yeah, they're really straightforward classes. 
very usual fantasy classes. Ranger, Mage. Mage might be a little bit more supporty. Ranger, just straight range DPS. Berserker, in your face, cleaving DPS. Guardian, a little bit more tanky. Probably will literally be the tank in Paladins. Yeah. You know, we get that. Uh, also, the races, as you can see here, are separated by these factions, uh, which is Horde and Alliance, essentially. Very inspired by World of Warcraft. But we only have three, really four races. You have a little short druid, very little, you know, little squirrel looking dudes. And we have human, we have elves, and then we have cat people. And I'm probably going to play as a cat girl. I'm probably going to play as, as the Pantera. It's, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna run with this. I'll probably be a berserker. Uh, so if you guys want to play around that with my, you know, as a group, that'd be cool. I need to tank probably. I don't know. Maybe Berserkers can tank. Who knows how this game's going to play uh, really appropriately uh, meta-esque. But anyways, uh, yeah, we have Alliance, we have Horde, and it is neutral, which I'm assuming is like kind of pandas. You get to choose later. But my thoughts and feelings on the lack of races and classes. I really liked the mix of classes, races and stuff in World of Warcraft, in Wildstar, even Terra. Like there was, there was, a, there was a nice amount there that you could really choose from. This one, what this is telling me is that, I mean, as a buy to play game, now as a free to play game, this makes sense. Um, you know, maybe they're like, oh, low budget game, but this game doesn't seem that low budget. So what I'm thinking is that they're really, I, okay, this is what I want to believe. I really think that they're trying to make as solid of an experience. Uh, as a quite you know early game questing as solid of a like a, a customization experience as well with just these few races here which in some ways actually have a lot of similarities yeah pantara do look really different but they're not as crazy and ridiculous as torn not as insane as char they're more or less these are kind of humanoid definitely more unique than the stuff in elder scrolls but also at the same time we have less so it looks like they're just really focused on that customization potential, uh, you know, making sure all the armors look really solid in game. They just want a really solid, you know, foundation for a game to build on uh, later, being an MMO. Okay, so character creation, we're not gonna be able to see it uh, too in depth here, but it says the best in class character customization. Create a hero that is uniquely your own. That is what they say, but we don't know if that's what they mean. Uh, so it could be like Black Desert Online level. I'm actually hoping it's Wildstar level. See, a lot of people don't realize this, but Wildstar actually has an amazing character creator where you have so many different races, so many different hairstyles and presets. Your character can look really, really radically different. So that's what I want. I don't want sliders. No, I actually, I don't want sliders. I want insane fun hairstyles. And actually, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Lots of really different characters that have pretty cool hairstyles. You know, they have very different um, facial features and so, oh, these two kind of look similar, but you know, that's what I want. So if we're gonna have a limitation on the races, if we're gonna have a limitation on those, then please give us more hairstyles. And they look really fantasy. This hairstyle looks, okay, this looks kind of usual. You can see this walking around downtown. This looks really different. This looks really different. Um, you know, some of these hairstyles look really fun. I, I'm game for this. This looks very, honestly, Final Fantasy. It, it really does. So I'm excited about that. That's that's the dream, okay? And one thing to talk about these classes, I really hope with these very basic and fundamental classes and just having such a limit of them that we do actually have a lot of customization within them. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get like an Archage level of customization, but I, I am hoping for something kind of similar to like you know, Black Desert Online to an extent, you can kind of pick a couple of play styles. Uh, Dragonest as well with a branching class system. Who knows what they're gonna do in the future, but hopefully there is some really intricate stuff going on with this. And like we saw with Monster Hunter World actually, even the most basic weapons can actually have really intricate little mechanics that can make it worth it. So that's what I'm hoping uh, is gonna come with the new uh, combat revamp. All right, so we talk about that. Let's go talk about the rich world of uh, Bless, and we're gonna see some screenshots. Uh, basically just reaffirming like, hey, that's Final Fantasy 14. Hey, that looks like Final Fantasy 14. Hey, that looks like Dark Souls? Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 14. Um, you know, this look, this this has this look and image of the aesthetic of Final Fantasy 14. And you're gonna see, yeah, right here especially, this is like Terra slash Final Fantasy. You're gonna really see the Final Fantasy inspiration with this next panel that I'm gonna click on, I promise you. Uh, so here's a cool concept here. Uh, companions of Adventure. Creatures you encounter may be yours to tame as mounts and pets. And a couple of MMO have tried this, such as uh, Dragon's Prophet. That was its main gimmick, is fighting and taming dragons. As well as uh, Riders of Icarus, that being its main gimmick. This here, it's not a main gimmick. It is something that probably everyone will do to an extent. 
But it's a, it's just like crafting, you know? You don't have to be a crafter to do some crafting or to know about it and for it to affect your gameplay in some way. You know, you can have a crafter in your guild. It's something that can enrich the world. And I don't think it's like a main focus, but it's something to do. So I like that they're kind of slotting it like that. Uh, right here, you can, guys, tell me right now, to those who have played Final Fantasy games, who live and breathe it, or at least did as children, tell me this doesn't look like it's straight out of the concept art of freaking Final Fantasy. If we get more stuff like this, then I think I'm so game for the aesthetic and the world design of Bless Online. I, mean, I was a little bit worried it'd be too vanilla, but, you know, like, like, like this right here. This is vanilla, but if we get stuff like, I mean, this is kind of looks like it's straight out of Elder Scrolls, which by the way, is get a Dragon Bones uh, little expansion coming soon, uh, but no, we got this. This, I want more stuff like this, Bless, so please show me that. And apparently you're just straight up gonna have stuff that could be uh, like a straight pet, like a battle pet, which is, I don't know, kind of cool. I don't know if this is a mount and you just ride on the shoulders or something. That's slavery. I don't know, but that's kind of weird. Uh, still, looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm digging that. And then um, we do have dungeons. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, th these two factions, if it wasn't obvious, Horde versus Alliance here, this is going to be PvP. And there's probably going to be battlegrounds, arenas of some kind, maybe. But I think it's really going to want to focus on open world PvP. And that's going to interact with the questing, so it's kind of PvEVP. Hopefully there are some open world bosses and things that you can contest. I think that'd be amazing. But yeah, this is a PvP game to an extent, but I think it's going to be sort of bisected by PvE. So there are dungeons, and there is a lot of PvE. Of course, that Final Fantasy inspiration. Group up and fight against the challenging monsters and receive your special rewards. Absa freaking lutely dungeons. We can look at some of these designs. So we're right here. This one kind of uh, giving me some Elder Scrolls vibes. Uh, maybe some Final Fantasy vibes as well. This one looks pretty big. Like this looks kind of what, what Skyforge esque. This I I'm kind of confused actually about the art style with this. This one looks very wowy. This this one looks uh, see like some stuff looks really gritty down to earth. And then you get uh, like what is that Zeus? Like what is this? It's crazy. Um, so I'm kind of confused how these dungeons are gonna play out. It's probably gonna be big ass bosses, and uh, generally that like that's gonna be the focus. It's gonna be like trash mob boss, trash mob boss. It's probably gonna be the usual dungeon setting, usual dungeon flow. And I don't. I think that's actually a good thing. I think some people are hungry for another dungeon diving raiding MMO that also like kind of maybe played like vanilla World of Warcraft with open world PvP and had a plethora of things that you would want to do all at the same time. I think that's what people want. They want an MMO that's really massive. We're tired of maybe MMOs that are so hyper specific uh, because we're getting a ton of them and there's more coming out. But it's kind of cool to see another big MMO, a potentially triple A MMO that, uh, you know, is buy to play, not pay to win, and offers us a plethora of things to do. So dungeons, open world PvP, all that good stuff. And, um, but from just from these images, it I'm getting vibes of, again, Final Fantasy. Uh, so, hey, if you guys like Final Fantasy dungeons, and from the little bit I played, it was actually pretty decent, though I can't say about the leveling, but the dungeons, that was pretty good. That was pretty amazing. And then down here, yeah, the competition. Realm versus realm. Oh, well, look at this. Okay. Participate in epic battles between the Hyren, 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 I don't know, and Union. Take part in small group fights up to massive 100 versus 100 siege fights. That is something that people are so hungry for. I cannot tell you how many people come to me on my Discord in the comments and be like, hey, is there a good PvP MMO? You know, bonus points if it has siege fights. Here we go. Right there. Rise to become a commander and lead your troops to victory. That's actually going to be my goal this time in Bless. That's something I bypassed in Guild Wars. I kind of had that dream, uh, but Guild Wars w wasn't quite what I wanted. It really focused more on small groups. Uh, the, you know, the competitive esports scene at the time. They kind of, you know, Guild the Guild Wars to Realm versus Realm versus Realm was a cool idea, but they really like let it slide. But it looks like Bless is like no. They, we're, we are doing this. We know we're not an eSport, but we are doing that. Uh, but then again, they do have an arena. So yeah, uh, it looks like this game, Bless, is launching with all the features of something like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy combined, but then kind of stripped down to its bare bones, which can be, you know, they, they don't have many races, they don't have many classes. Um, you know, the game world is a very usual aesthetic. Its mechanics are probably going to be rather usual, but it's gonna have all the features that you want from those games. It's gonna have the arena, it's gonna have siege fights, 100 versus 100, and hopefully with their fine-tuned focus, uh, you know, from the developers, and, and they publish this game targeted toward the West, 
I'm dreaming that it's going to be more solid, more balanced, and actually people are going to want to do these things. Where, you know, in other games, people are, you know, oh, the, the PvP is a fun little gimmick, you know, Guild Wars 2, it tried to be an eSport, but then it actually kind of turned away people from Realm versus Realm, it turned people away from other parts of the game. Uh, same thing with World of Warcraft, you know, open world is basically a joke now. Um, Final Fantasy XIV, the leveling is a snore fest. So it's really cool to see a game that's kind of approaching its launch as a well-rounded kind of AAA full production immediately. So that's what I'm excited about. Yes, we can make comparisons all day to Final Fantasy XIV, to World of Warcraft. Those are warranted, but I think the fact that this game is launching with that in mind, like it is a very, it's a very aware game, and now I just want you guys to be aware of its self-awareness, and I think from there, we can begin to really appreciate the game. So, as somebody who's looked at a lot of MMOs very cynically, very critically, I'm scared to say this, because this is like the only MMO I'm doing this for, but I'm gonna have to give it my seal of approval. So if you guys want to keep watching, we actually are going to be talking about, uh, we're going to go through the Q&A here, because we just got some news of Bless Online. Uh, yes, it is buy to play, it is going to be early access, yes, I am going to be getting into early access. I don't have much money, like at all, I'm a starving artist, I just moved into a nicer apartment, so I gotta pay them bills, gotta pay that rent, hey, Patreon, donations, I can beg, right? But. I am going to be getting into this game because I really believe of it, I'm believing, you know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, I believe in its success, and I'm going to kind of ride the wave of this game. I do believe this is going to be a game that I consistently do content on, and I'm praying to all the deities, please, let this be a good game, because Papa wants some views, okay? And I can't, I, I can't cover games that suck. I won't do it anymore. I'm not doing it. So, you guys are tired of, of me being salty, and I'm telling you right now, I think I'm not going to be that salty about Bless. I think it's going to be a pretty cool game. But, it's going to be buy to play. This is the only thing that I can really salt about. It is buy to play. It could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I'm just going to tell you that I, me and a whole lot of other people thought it was going to be free to play. And looking at the what the game is doing, I don't see why it couldn't be free to play. But if we assume that everything that it's trying to do, and we assume that it's going to be done right, then it makes sense. You know, a AAA game like Guild Wars 2 or something like that. Okay, it's buy to play. No sub fee though. Keep that in mind. No monthly fees. A final price will be confirmed. I'm assuming $30. $30 feels like a really, you know, that's that's the new sex right now. That's the new AAA price. Um, you know, Albion Online was 30 bucks though. Albion Online has a cash shop, plus it has real money transactions, plus it has a optional subscription fee, which is not really so optional. So there's other games out there that do worse, but there's also other games that are completely free to play and that have okay cash shops. Uh, Terra is, okay, I haven't seen modern Terra, heard some things though, but Terra was at one time a really good free to play game. Um, so buy to play, it could be good, could be bad. I'm on the fence about it, but I think since we see it, you know, this game is really focusing on publishing to the West. I think that buy to play just makes sense. But we've also seen some games, like I said, Albion Online, we've seen Black Desert Online. You know, they, they say they're trying to do good by us, and then eventually it just, you know, cascades and snowballs into something awful. So, we'll see, but I'm going to be buying into it. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Will there be an in-game store? Will it be pay to win? No company in their right mind will ever say it's pay to win. Now, so, okay, some, some actually do say it, but dude, no, Black Desert Online will still say it's not pay to win. I think a lot of people would say Black Desert Online is pay to win. Ugh. So it depends on your opinion. It depends on what you, you know, you can't win an MMO. Bullshit. No. Uh, so it depends on really what happens inside the game. So I'm not even going to listen to that. But there is going to be a game store. Cosmetic equipment, skins. Now, now here's, a, here's kind of a problem here. Consumables that give services and boosts. That could, I mean, you could consider that pay to win in some games. Um, in Black Desert, it could debatably be pay to win in some ways because it's infinite progression. So those who progress further are stronger. So if you, yeah, whatever. Um, in some games, it can be pay to win, but we'll see about that. It doesn't say anything about, it, this could be scary. Also, the mounts and pets could also be scary. Uh, in some MMO, having a better, faster mount, like let's say if you could do that in Albion Online, if you could just straight up buy a faster, bigger mount before anybody else could, that is some, that would, that would legit be pay to win, especially at the launch of a game. Um, but this, I don't know, it com if, it, if it's combat pets, I don't know. I'm assuming they, what they mean from this is just like, yeah, it's cosmetics and you'll have a level booster if you want to catch up to play with your friends who played since launch or something, something like that. But, um, 
I still don't like boosts. I don't like boosts. I don't like services. It, they're just gonna, they're gonna give us inventory locks. You know, we saw that with Guild Wars 2. That's god awful. Oh my god. Um, boosts, you know, oh, let's make the game super grindy so people want to buy boosts. That's bullshit. I don't like that. Just cosmetics. So that's me. I'm a See, I am really cynical. I am really critical. Um, but we'll, we'll see the cash up when we get in there. However, they say they're not trying to be pay to win. Okay. But I never trust anybody. Will there be Founders Packs? Yes, we will be offering exclusive Founder Packs to reward the community's continued loyalty and support. So that's because it's games launching in early access. Um, yeah, I'm going to be buying into it, so I guess that's a Founders Pack. We'll see. Uh, our Founders Packs will allow you to have advanced access even before the official early access begins. So as a content creator, it makes sense that I would be getting that. And you'll also get exclusive gifts. So yeah, if, you know, if you're really supporting it, if you're a fanatic, you know, <laughs> jump into it. Uh, so, a final list of Founder Pack tiers will be confirmed later, so we'll see. I'm assuming probably 20 bucks uh, to $100. Probably not. Probably like the freaking $500. Uh, these games get insane, and it, if you're sold on an idea, then, dude, you will spend so much money. People can get so much money from Kickstarters and uh, Early Access or Founders Packs. It's insane. So, Bless Online Early Access coming May 2018. That's pretty sexy. That's not too far away, guys. I'm hoping I jump in really soon. Putting a lot of effort into the Steam version of Bless Online, and we hope you will enjoy all of our work this May 2018, including localization, fun content, whatever that means, and better performance. So, I'm assuming it's going to be better optimized, it's going to have more extra content, and it's going to be localized from the Japanese version. From what I've seen from that, it reminds me so much of Final Fantasy with its core mechanics, um, which scares me, but I'm hoping that it's going to be a little bit more revamped. I, I don't know. So now you know the exciting news. May will be a big month for Bless Online, as you'll be able to purchase the Founders Packs and start playing Bless Online. It says May for the Founders Packs, um, but Early Access is coming for May. So I'm assuming Early Access is late May, but if you buy a Founders Pack, then maybe you're going to get in like a week or a couple days earlier. So, hey, there's that. Uh, Bless Online is looking pretty exciting. Is this trailer uh, different from the first trailer? It doesn't seem like it. So there is that guys that's the website of bless online that's my thoughts and feelings on uh, the features that's being set here and finally really what i can do the last thing that i can say is that i am really on the fence with this game to an extent i will be playing it and doing it as a content creator but can i immediately suggest it to everyone everywhere no i haven't played the game yet but from what i've seen i'm scared I'm scared because the game did fail at one time already. I'm scared from the Japanese footage that I've seen. It's not really my type of game. I generally do like games like that are like Wildstar and Guild Wars or even World of Warcraft that are a little bit more fast and big and explosive. But at the same time, I think I do want something that's really hardcore and kind of down to earth in a way for a fantasy game that is something that's slower paced, something that's really focused on that, you know, like hardcore gameplay. Um, it's still probably going to be a theme park, but I want something that's more difficult. And I was watching Cry's video talking about Bless Online because he played it a good bit. And he said, yeah, in some ways it feels like Dark Souls, how um, difficult some of the PvE can be. So maybe I am really hungry for that. And I think a lot of people are too. There's tons of games that are big and explosive. But as we can see from the success of Final Fantasy XIV, people will pay a lot of money and go through a whole lot of grind and, and you know, just like feet through the mud just to get to that sweet, sweet, PvE content. So Bless is going to have um, PvP. Hopefully it works out. Um, hopefully it's not a Zerg and Blobfest with 100 versus 100, but actually, maybe because of the slow paced nature of the game, then 100 versus 100, it actually turn out really good. Yeah, I, I, I think so, maybe. So again, I'm a little wibbly wobbly, but I'm going to put my trust in Bless Online. That is just my open and honest opinion. And hopefully, you guys, accept that. Yes, I did just look through the website and I just said some words. But hopefully you guys can appreciate that. I will be jumping in ASAP, and this is also a notification video. So to let you guys know that, yes, I'm going to be streaming, going to be doing content. Hopefully I can become an affiliate for the game, and I would like to promote the game as long as it continues to do really good, solid MMO content. Because I'm hungry for this game. I think a lot of you guys are hungry for a game like this. And despite it, its aesthetics looking very usual, I think deep down, at the, at the dirtiest little nitty gritty, I think that it's going to be a solid game. Or, I mean, again, that is the dream. That is the assumption. That's the website. That's my thoughts. This is Bless Online. Thanks for watching, guys. More content coming soon, so keep that hype alive. My name's Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.